In these next problems, we're looking at raising negative numbers to powers. And there are a couple of rules you need to keep in mind here. In this first one, we have a negative 4 inside parentheses, and all of that is being raised to the fifth power. And I usually like to think about these as two separate parts. There's the 4 raised to the fifth power, which is 1024. You can try that out on your calculator. You can multiply 4 by itself five times. Or you could use that y to the x key, where you type in 4, y to the x, 5. You should get 1024 in either case. And then there's the negative sign raised to the fifth power. Now, one way to keep track of this rule is that any odd numbered powers, like 3 or 5 or 7, etc., the negative sign sticks with it in the answer. Another way to think about this is that we're taking that negative sign and multiplying five of them together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you might remember from your rules about multiplying negative numbers is that every two become positive, and if you're left over with a negative, then that's what the answer is. So the correct answer for this one is negative 1024. Let's look at the next one here. It says negative, and then parentheses, negative 3 to the third plus 3 to the third. Well, I like to deal with what's in the parentheses first. And again, we're going to do this in two parts. 3 to the third is 27. Negative to the third is negative times negative times negative. Two of those become positive, but I'm left with a negative. So that's still negative 27. But I've only done what's in the parentheses so far, so let me put in the rest of the problem. There's a negative sign hanging out here in front of the parentheses. And then, while well, I can do this pretty quickly. Uh, 3 to the third power is just 27. There's no negative signs involved there. So I've got negative, negative 27 plus 27. Well, a negative, negative 27 is 27. And 27 plus 27 is 54. All right, let's look at this next one. We've got, uh, again, some negatives outside the parentheses, some powers here. But you'll notice the powers are even. And this simplifies things a little bit because even powers, um, the negative sign is always going to come out as positive. If you think about it, if we take this negative sign right here to the fourth power, you're going to get one, two, three, four of them, and they all become positive since every two make a positive. Let's work on this one. Two to the fourth power, well, that's two times two times two times two, that's 16. The negative becomes a positive, so that's just 16, but I'm going to leave it in the parentheses here. Because we had this negative sign out in front of the parentheses, I'm going to put that back. And then plus 2 to the 4th, well, that's just 16. So I've got a negative 16 plus 16. That equals 0. So not too difficult, I don't think, except they start getting a little more complicated when you look at a big problem like this. And my advice on this is always just take it a step at a time and rewrite it as you go. The first thing I notice is we've got an absolute value, um, these, these signs right here. So the inside of that, we're going to take the absolute value of it. So I think I'm going to work on this chunk first. And inside there, I've got some parentheses, so I'll, I'll go to there first. I've got negative 2 to the third power. Well, let's do that one thing at a time. 2 to the third power is 8, and the negative sign is going to stay negative because this is an odd power. So that's going to be negative 8. And then we have... Now, this negative sign is outside the parentheses, so I just keep it. The, the second power here, the raising it to the second power, doesn't do anything to it. 2 to the second power is 4, and we have negative 8 minus 4. That is negative 12, but we're going to take the absolute value of this. So that is 12, and now I'm going to go back and put in the rest of the problem. All I've done so far is this chunk, so let me write it in. There's a negative sign then in front of that chunk, in front of the 12. We have 2 to the third, negative sign in front of that. We have negative 3 to the third, negative sign in front of that. And 2 to the fourth with a negative sign out there. Okay. Now we will take this a chunk at a time again. Well, 2 to the fourth is 16. And because that negative sign is not inside parentheses, it's going to stay there. Then we've got this negative sign. I'll just bring that down. And then 3 to the third is 27. And the negative sign is going to stay negative because this is an odd power. So that's a negative 27. And then we have a negative sign and a 2 to the third. 
That negative sign's not inside parentheses, so this third power isn't going to affect it one way or another. 2 to the third is 8, and then we have r minus 12. Well, now we've finally got it down to a point where we can start um, adding and subtracting and so forth. We just have to be careful with our signs. We have negative 16 minus a negative 27. So that's actually plus 27. And I think that comes out to be 11. And then minus 8 minus 12. And I think what you're going to get there, if you punch that into your calculator, is a negative 9. Might want to double check that, but I think that's what that one comes out to. So that's a little bit about raising negatives to powers.